Hello, in this video we're going to learn about subtracting polynomials. Uh, that's the title of the section 15.3 in the book. However, what I really want you to practice and think about when you're ever subtracting uh, things is adding the opposite. So I've crossed out subtracting and put adding the opposite. And I'll show you what I mean by that. What I want to do instead of subtracting x squared plus 3x plus 2 is I really want to add the opposite of everything in the parentheses. Uh, so what I really want to do is I want to add uh, negative x squared and a minus 3x and a minus 2. Oops. Let's make that minus 2. Okay, so let's take a look at this again. So I have this x squared plus 4x plus 3. We can just keep that there. Uh, but then instead of subtracting, I'm going to add the opposite of everything that was in the parentheses. Okay, now it just looks like uh, a problem that we did in the last video. And we can model it using algebra tiles here. So um, I have an x squared. I have four x's and I can so there we go x squared I got four x's I got three ones and then I have a negative x squared which I can bring down here I have a negative three x so I can bring those down here and I have a negative two which I can bring down here now when you add those all together, these two uh, positive and negative x squared cancel each other out. The, uh, these three x's are going to cancel out these three x's. So those go away. And then these two are going to cancel out. Oops, I'm sorry. Before I cancel those out, I was supposed to have three of these right here. I don't know what happened to those. So two of these negative ones are going to cancel out uh, these two negative ones. So those are going to go away, leaving me with an answer of, let me move that down a little bit, x plus 1. Make sure I did that right since I had that extra tile or I didn't have the extra tile. Uh, x plus 1 is correct. Okay, let's go on to another example. So again, we're going to simplify. Uh, in this case, that means subtract. However, what I really want you to do is add the opposite. So I'm going to write the first one, 2x cubed minus 3x plus 5. Notice no changes. Now instead, I'm going to change this to a plus because I want us to add the opposite. I'm going to make this negative, this negative, and this is going to actually change to positive. So we have a negative x cubed, a negative 2x, and a positive 3. So notice how everything's changed. So I add the opposite of everything. Was positive, now is negative. Positive to negative, and then negative to positive. And now we can set it up again in the exact same way. Let me make my negative um, rectangle here. There we go. This is my negative rectangle. So we have 2x cubed, which looks like two of these. And we have 3, negative 3x. So I'll put 3 in the negative spot here. I have 5. That's positive. 2, 3, 4, and 5. Let's move all those. Oops, not like that. Let's move all those here. Then I have a negative x cubed, so that goes here. Negative 2x, so that's more x's in here. And then a positive 3, so that's 3 more out here. All right, so let's do some simplifying now. Uh, this x cubed and this x cubed are going to cancel each other out. So we get rid of those. And nothing else cancels, so I'm going to end up with a positive x cubed. It looks like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 
negative x's, so I can put negative 5x, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 positive ones. All right, so let's try our next problem. In this problem here, again, we're subtracting. So um, I'm just going to write the first parentheses or grouping as is. Um, again, remember when we're subtracting, we want to add the opposite of all these things here. So it's going to be uh, negative 2x squared, negative 5x, negative 6. Um, and so, oops, I keep forgetting to make my, my negative area. There we go. So this is the negative area. And we have a negative x squared. So let's put that over here. We have plus 4x. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Let's put those over here. I got minus 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So all those can go in here. And I have a negative 2x squared. So two more negative x squareds in here. Um, negative 5x. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So those all can go in here. And then I have a negative 6. 1, 2, 3. On those and they're all coming in. Oops, I missed one. All right, so lots of negatives here. So the only um, canceling out is going to be with these x values. So it looks like four of these x's are going to cancel with. So four of the negative x's are going to cancel with four of the positive ones. So we can get rid of all of these leaving me with a bunch of negative stuff. So I have uh, three of these negative x squareds. That's going to be negative 3x squared. I have one negative x, so minus x. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, negative 1, so minus 11. Let me double check that. So negative 3x squared minus x. Yep, that is correct. All right. Moving on, here's another one, pretty similar. Again, we have an x squared plus 2x plus 3. Change this, we're going to do the opposite. Remember, this isn't necessary to do when you're just adding, because what we want is this addition here. Um, so we're going to make this a positive x squared, a positive 3x, and a positive 5. So positive x squared, positive 3x positive 5. And it looks like there are no negatives here, so I'm not even going to worry about my negative little rectangle thing. So let's just set it up. So I have an x squared. I've got two x's. I've got three ones. And then I've got another x squared. Three more x's. And five ones. One, two, three, four, and five. So when we combine the like terms, looks like I've got two of those, five of those, and eight of those. So my answer is going to be 2x squared plus 5x plus 8. 2, 5, and 8. Yep, that's right. Okay, the last thing we need to learn when we're uh, working in this chapter is how to solve an equation with um, some like terms in it. Um, so in this case, we have a subtraction of two polynomials. So the first thing we want to do is rewrite it. So 7y plus 1. And I want to add the opposite of all those things. So we have y and a negative 7. And then I'll just write the rest. Okay. So we have a 7y and a, another 1y. So that's going to be 8y. And then we have this 1 and this minus 7. So 1 minus 7 is actually negative 6. And we saw this equals 3y minus 26. Okay, now when you're solving equations, we've done this a while ago, so you might not remember. We need to make sure all the variables are on the same side. So we can either get rid of these y's here or these y's here. It doesn't matter which one. If we get rid of these, 
will end up with a positive y value, which is nice. So we get 5y minus 6 equals negative 26. And now it might look a little more obvious, so we can add 6 to both sides. And that leaves us with 5y equals negative 20. Don't forget your positive and negative adding rules here. And then when we divide both sides by 5, we get y equals negative 4. Now the smart thing to do here would be to plug in uh, negative 4 and see if that was correct. So let's try it out. Negative 28 plus 1 is negative 27. Uh, and then we have the opposite of negative 4, so 4 plus 7 is 11, so negative 27 minus 11. And we're wondering if that is negative 12 minus 26. So this would be negative 38, and this would also be negative 38. So we are pretty confident that negative 4 is our correct answer. Thanks for watching.